Rho reduced the matrices to reduced echelon form. So, to begin, start with the top left corner and make sure it's a 1. In this case, it is. Then you go to the rows below it and make them all 0. So we'll need to make that 4 a 0 and that 6 a 0. So to do so, I'll do it in two steps. Well, let's start with the 4. So to make the 4 a 0, we will replace row 2 with negative 4 times row 1 plus row 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. Our top row stays the same. Our second row is what's changing. So if we multiply the top row by negative 4, we'll get temporarily negative 4, negative 8, negative 12, negative 16. And if we add that to row 4, we will get 0, negative 3, negative 6, and negative 9. And then we keep the third row the same for now. And now we want to replace row 3 with negative 6 times row 1 plus row 3. Our row 1 will stay the same, 1, 2, 3, 4. Our second row will now be the same. And then our top row will temporarily be negative 6, negative 12, negative 18, negative 24. And our row 3 will now be 0, negative 5, negative 10, and negative 15. Now we have zeros underneath the 1. Now we go 1 down and then over far enough until we reach a non-zero term, which in this case is a 3, negative 3. Now moving up to here, we need to make that negative 3 a 1. So we will replace row 2 with negative 1 third times row 2. And that will end up with 1, 2, 3, 4. And divide every element in row 2 by negative 3. Just the same thing by multiplying by negative 1 third. So we will be left with 0. 1, 2, 3. And our last row stays the same. 0, negative 5, negative 10, negative 15. And now, we need to make this a 0 because it's underneath our last pivot point, which was this 1. Well, I will do the pivot points in this orange. That's, that negative 3 is a pivot and that 1 is a pivot. This one technically is not a pivot. It used to be when it was the negative 3. Now we need to make that negative 5 a 0. So to do that, we'll replace row 3 with 5 times row 2 plus row 3. And we'll keep the top row the same, the middle row is the same. And our bottom row will end up being 0, 0, 0, 0. That's totally legal when dealing with matrices. It's okay to have a row entirely of zeros. So then we would look, we'd go down a row and look for our next non-zero term and since we don't have one, we are done. This is in reduced echelon form. This is the final answer.